Hey guys, welcome back. Remember the last time I told you I would talk about these aluminum starter plates that I designed and built? Well, here it is. You can see I have these three notches, one for off, start and run, cut out into the metal. And this is how I designed it in Inkscape on my computer. I designed it to be about two and a half by three and a half inches and a little Humvee cut into it and a little hole in the center so that the start switch fits right through. It came out really nice on computer and looks even better when I had it laser cut and shipped to me. All right, let's unbox it. So I've already pre-cut the plastic out so it comes out easily. As you can see, it looks like brushed aluminum. Very pretty indeed. Quite sturdy too. It's about a millimeter and a half thick. Not very flimsy. Let's open the second one as well. So satisfying cutting these things out and taking them out of the plastic. That's half the fun itself. All right, let's walk around the Humvee and I'll put it up against the starter and see how it looks. So the current plate is completely worn off. All the blacks come out. I will have to remove the red start switch and place it in place and probably rivet it on all four corners. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I don't think I'm going to paint it. What I might do instead is paint this plate black and then, uh, or maybe just take it out and then paint it black and then put the plate over it and then rivet it. This is gonna be fun, so let's do it. As you guys know, this is what the OEM starter plate looks like. And uh, this is what mine looks like in comparison. It's a little more designer. I don't have the engine stop, run and start written there, but we all know what they do. If any of you want one of these, I could laser cut and send it to you for around $30. That's not too bad considering it's the same price for the OEM plus shipping. Let me know. Okay, so like I said, there are three ways to do this. One, I could just paste this over the current plate and rivet it in place. Or I could glue the back and stick it over this just the way it is. Or I would have to take a chisel and remove this before I tape it on.
I think that turned out pretty well. What do you think? Put the start switch back in. And at some point I might just um, rivet all four corners just for a, you know, a nice finished look. And then paint the rest of the dashboard 383 green again so it looks nice and fresh. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you think I should rivet it or not. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Have a great evening. Oh, and by the way, check this out. I got this cool little mirror. Hey. So I had the rear view mirror and I had this little movable mirror that I can look at blind spots or myself and passengers in the rear. All right, you guys have a great evening. Bye.